and with the uh, recent snooping scandals coming to light, how would you address uh, the privacy and surveillance in the context of AI development? Well, I mean, that's, that's a battle I've given up on. I mean, I, I, as I said earlier, I assume my phone is tapped. I can probably say hello to Mr. Modi right now if you want. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so, Hello so that's that's just that's 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 a battle I've given up. Uh, they're probably listening into this and saying, "Okay, what is he saying out there?" Um, With the recent snooping scandals coming to light, how would you address uh, the privacy and surveillance in the context of AI development? Well, I mean, that's that's a battle I've given up on. I mean, I I as I said earlier, I assume my phone is tapped. I can probably say hello to Mr. Modi right now if you want. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so, Hello so that's that's just that's 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 a battle I've given up. Uh, they're probably listening into this and saying, "Okay, what is he saying out there?" Um, but on a more serious note, I think these are actually very important things, and I think you need to establish rules with regards to uh, privacy of citizens, privacy of data, uh, you know, and and protection of data of our people. As, as a nation and as individuals. Thank you, thank you. A has the potential to disrupt employment patterns. How do you ensure that A doesn't leave behind those who might lose their jobs due to automation? Frankly, I am not one of those people who believes that AI is going to massively decrease jobs. I don't buy that argument, okay. right? I think that some jobs will be lost and many more jobs will be created. Right? And I think we've seen this before. I was reading, actually, uh, some accounts of when the steam engine, which you mentioned, uh, was invented. People were saying it's going to destroy all jobs. You know, the petrol engine was seen as something that would destroy all jobs. Computers were seen as something that will destroy all jobs. So we've seen this before. And none of these technologies have actually destroyed jobs. I think they have reallocated jobs. They have uh, redistributed them. But I don't think... I don't think we need to be worried about massive job losses. I might be wrong, but that's how I sure. think about it. If you become the Prime Minister of India in 2024, what skills you think India should prioritize for future generations? I mean, for me, you know, I, I'm sitting here today, and a lot of my time is spent back home in uh, the rural environment. So it's a, it's, a, it's a cultural sort of huge transition, you know, seeing... Uh, having this type of discussion and then seeing the reality of the Indian education system and our school system and stuff like that. I think on the higher education side, you know, on the engineering side uh, and the technical side, our education system is reasonable. It's good. Uh, and it's competitive with any other, uh, you know, top economy of the world. I think where a lot of work needs to be done is the sort of primary education the secondary education, uh, education for poorer people, weaker, weaker sections of society. I think that's where uh, a lot of focus needs to be put. And then also I feel that India needs to think about production and manufacturing and the type of skills that go into production and manufacturing, which frankly we haven't paid as much attention as we should uh, and I think is almost as critical as the services.